Hey gang, it's Uncle Charlie, and today I want to show you something really cool having to do with prayer. You know, prayer is how we talk to God, and it's a very important part of our walk with Him, right? But do you sometimes have trouble thinking of something to say when you're praying? <laughs> yeah, I think that happens to a lot of us, right? Well, I'm going to show you something today that will help you remember some things to pray for. It's called the Five Finger Prayer. Okay, try this with me. Make a prayer hand in front of you just like this. You know like you see in pictures all the time of somebody praying? Okay, make those prayer hands like this and let's take each set of fingers one at a time. Okay, first let's take the thumb. Now the thumb in the prayer hand is the closest one to us. So that should remind us, let's pray for the people that are closest to us. Like mom and dad, like brother or sister, how about grandma and grandpa? So who could you pray for today? Now let's take the next finger. Now the next finger is what we call the pointer finger. Because you see, we point with that finger, right? Well, you know there's a lot of people in our lives that point us in the right direction. Let's say like teachers, Sunday school teachers, how about our children's pastor, our minister, people outside of our family that point us to the right way. Let's pray for those people too. So who could you pray for today? Now the next finger, the middle finger, is also the tallest finger. See how it's taller than all the other fingers? That should help us remember to pray for those who are in leadership over us. People in powerful positions, let's say like the President of the United States. How about your school principal? How about police officers who try to carry out the law and protect us every day? Let's pray for them too. So who can you pray for today? Now let's take the next finger. The next finger is called the ring finger. And you know, that's the weakest finger of the whole bunch. As a matter of fact, it's even harder to move this finger the way that I did the other fingers. So it's the weakest of all the fingers. That should remind us to pray for those who are weak. How about those who are poor? How about those who are sick? Those who are having a really, really hard time. Let's remember them in prayer too. So who can you pray for today? Now let's take the pinky finger. You see, the pinky finger is the smallest finger, but it's also the last finger. So that should remind us that, you know what, it's okay to pray for ourselves, but you know what, let's pray for everybody else first and keep ourselves last. So when we're praying for ourselves, we can pray for anything. So what is it that you want to pray for today? So there you have it, the five fingers of prayer. Isn't that cool? So just remember, you can pray for those that are closest to you, you can pray for those who point you in the right way. Pray for those that are in leadership over you. Pray for those that are weak and need some help. And then you can pray for yourself as well. Hey, and don't forget one more thing. See that? That's the palm of your hand right there. The Bible says that we're in the palm of God's hand. And God takes care of our needs every day and blesses us with so many blessings. So you know what? We should be thankful for the many blessings that He gives us. So what can you be thankful for today? Make sure and thank God for it, okay? And include that in your prayers. Hey gang, feel free and watch this as many times as you need to so you can remember the five fingers of prayer. So go ahead and start practicing now. God bless, and I'll see you here, there, or in the air.